baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the San Francisco Giants. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And today on the hill, Blake Snell. And Singy, he's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. The spin rate on the curveball is incredible. Hitters know they're going to see a lot of them today. Stay back, be patient, and hit the ball the other way. Ready to go. And now the shortstop, Mookie Betts. Here comes a pitch. On the outside corner, and we're underway. First pitch, 7 o'clock. Out towards right center field. On the move to the alley. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience in game. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around with the game for a long time. And they may not have the flash that they once did, but... They've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. Totally tied up with that inside pitch. Got to it late and deep in the zone, but he got the bat on plane enough to fight it off the other way. The other way, takes it in for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Big time power. And a foul ball. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. There's a swing and a miss. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Out to center, Lee under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. One left for L.A., and now we'll see what the Giants can do. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy, getting the nod in this one, number 18. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Chung Hoon Lee leading things off and takes a strike. In the air, out to center, Outman coming on. Makes the grab on the run. One up, one down. Now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience, Ziggy. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boone. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent and you always seem to see a team like this they come to the ballpark they know how to get down to business and they understand what the job is at hand Down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. 
the pitch. And they'll do it again. Riding to the plate. Fouls it back with two strikes. One out, base is empty. Flails at that one. It's a strikeout. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break that like that good. thing does. The Huge movement. Base. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at-bat alive. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. There's a strike. Two down, nobody on. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And that is that. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. Scoreless after one. And we're back. Second inning set to go. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Snell back to work. And a ground ball to first. And Hernandez is out. That is good. The center fielder, number 33, James. And now the center fielder, James Outman. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Now a high fly ball out to left center. On the move to the gap. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And first offering is fouled off. Smith, an all-star a season ago, hitting seventh in today's lineup, a former first-round pick back in 2016. Bounce to the right. Slings to first, and they get the out on Smith. That's out number three. Dodgers down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom Leading of the up. second. The now Matt Chapman at the plate. The third baseman. Matt. And the pitch. Foul off left side. It's great watching Yamamoto pitch in Major League Baseball, but he played against MLB talent before he signed with the Dodgers. He was a standout at the Tokyo Olympics and in the 2023 World Baseball Classic and helped Japan win gold medals in both. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out and have success. Swings and misses, struck that's him good. out. That's about that's as good. nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in Go terms of movement. Down. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. The batter will be Michael Conforto. That's in there, and it's 0-1. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Swing and a tapper. The throw to first. And a couple of quick outs. That is good. 
the right field. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the play. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever yep, it takes. First pitch, just misses. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. And another ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. Two out spaces empty. Two down, nobody on. Next hey, offering hey. misses down and away. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Back to work, 3-2 now. Good job to fight that one off. And a 3-2. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Yastrzemski off the of first with two away. On the ground to third. Third out, and that ends the frame. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. We played two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Max Muncy. Snell back to work. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Snell, a multi-Cy Young Award winner. He features a four-seam fastball, a curve, a changeup, and he works in a slider. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. The lefty fires. Swing and a miss struck him out. Man, he stood no chance in that at bat. A three pitch strikeout swung through all three. Tell you what, Boog, it's not a good feeling at all. You know that from experience? Uh, it's mm. happened a time or two. If I didn't roll over on the first pitch, sinker a second base, then, you know, in there long enough, then I would. Yeah, I've, I've had a couple. Oh, my God, fantastic. <laughs> Chris Taylor now. Swing and a miss. One one. All one's the count. Line of the pitch. And he swings through that one. He's really trying to stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. Top of the third, no score. Hard hit, left side. Ahmed gets it to first. Taylor out of the play. So the lineup flips over. Here's Mookie Betts. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. The shortstop takes the ball. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then 
if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Dodgers go down quietly, and we are still scoreless. And we're back, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the Giants catcher, Patrick Bailey. I'm so glad Yamamoto made the move to Major League Baseball. He's one of the most decorated pitchers to come out of Japan and finished his Nippon professional baseball career in style. To the right side. Throw on to Freeman. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Batting nine. Not shortstop. Nick. Oh, man. Nick Ahmed here to hit. Facing elimination and pitching in game six of the Japan series, Yamamoto pitched a complete game with 14 strikeouts and broke the series strikeout record held by Yu Darvish. Whoa, what a way to go back. out. First offering and it just misses. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Rojas with the throw to first. And that quickly, two away. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance, had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Lee ball in now. Ball. Takes ball one off the plate. Just off the outside edge, and it's 2-0. Left-hand batter waits. It's a strike, and a count 2-1. Two Inside just missed. 3-1 now. Fall off foul. Two outs. Hey. Down on strikes. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Giants go down quietly. And we're still knotted at zero. As we go to the top of the fourth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Rojas. And he deals. To the right side. And that one handled. Tosses to first. And a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. He's over one. Up the middle, Ahmed whips it to first on the run. Yeah. And Freeman is retired. Here's Shohei Otani. He's 0 for 1. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And first offering is fouled off. Swings through that. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Owen oh 2 now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And 
That one lifted in the air center field. Brings it in for the third out. On to the bottom of the fourth now. Still with no score. Ready to go. Leading bottom up. four. Jorge Soler up at the plate. The designated hitter. The line to the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Next offering down in the dirt. Kicks and fires. Gets a piece and stays alive. Next pitch just misses. Two balls, two strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Lifted in the air down the left side. Bet settles underneath it. Squeezes it, and there's one down. Got the pitch that he wanted now just down. a little bit quick. The front shoulder down. open. Back side collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. So here's Wade now. First time up was a pop out. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. And if he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Late with the swing there. That's a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times. So I'd say that's pretty effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Up next to the Giants. And here is Matt Chapman. Matt. Struck out on just Chapman. three pitches last time. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Two outs, runner at first. And here is Michael Conforto. Over one so far. Pickoff throw. Back standing. He's in there safely. That Eight. one's in there. Strike one. Oh and one. Out there to center. Outman moving under this one. He makes the grab, and the inning is over. So the Giants leave one. Still no score.
Ready now for the Pretty fifth awesome. inning. Okay. And now Teoscar yeah. Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez. The pitch. And a foul ball. Hernandez, a former All-Star, 31 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. You know, these Dodgers, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Now there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Yastrzemski pulls it in for the out. Out number two. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it the up batter. enough to really drive it. Gotcha. The batter yeah. now will be Will yeah. Smith. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Right side, hard hit. Over to first. That's the third out. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Halfway through this one, still no score. We head to the bottom of the fifth the and digging in for San Francisco, Mike Yastrzemski. Mike Yastrzemski originally drafted by the Orioles, 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013. The Giants got him in March of 2019. San Francisco's really where he got a shot to play. Kicks and deals. All well, these Giants, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And that is cut on and missed. One and two. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Hawaii to kick the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Stays alive. That pitch just misses the inside corner, and yeah, that's ball two. Fights it off, he'll see another. And the right hander deals. This one chopped to first. He takes it on his own, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Up next to the second base. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Here's the strike. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. Lifted in the air, right center field. 
Makes his way towards it. Makes the grab after a long run. Two away. Now that the catcher. And up next for San Francisco, Patrick Bailey. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Foul ball still 0-2. and misses and good work there as he gets a one two three nothing doing there for San Francisco sixth inning coming up still nothing on the scoreboard and welcome back to the ballpark top of the sixth inning and at the plate for the Dodgers Max Muncy as the lefty gets to work a little out front there as he swings through it. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Strike two. Not even close there. And it's one and two. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. And next for L.A., Chris Taylor grounded out his first time. Swinging a foul straight back. One down, base is empty. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Here's Mookie to hit. Got to be careful with this intentional walk coming here, and that sets up the double play possibility with one away and runners at first and second. First and second, one out. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Rojas. Ground ball left side could be two. Feed the second, that's one, and that's two. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Bottom of the six, and digging in for San Francisco, Nick Ahmed. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Oh, 
0-2 now. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. Well, I think he's got to be feeling pretty invincible out there on the mound right now. I mean, he's got the shutout working so far, and even when he challenges these guys, he's getting away with it. That pitch right there really wasn't anything special. A hittable pitch, but he gets the punch out. Back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. Jung Hoon Lee, the next Giant to hit. Here's some fun facts about Jung Hoo Lee. You look at the fact that he wears number 51. Not a shocker, but his favorite player growing up, That's Ichiro Suzuki. Oh, and they're going to tag one, the no pitcher play. with a pitch clock violation. That's an automatic ball. The pitcher must begin his motion before the pitch timer runs out. We're looking for a little more urgency out there. The pitch that's timer crazy. expired before he started his windup, so that's a ball. That must be incredibly frustrating for the pitcher, but this is all about creating more action and speeding up the game, and it's working. Oh, and they're going to tag the pitcher with a pitch clock violation. That's an automatic ball. The pitcher must begin his motion before the pitch timer runs out. We're looking for a little more urgency out there. And there's the automatic. One of the other aspects of Jung Ho Lee's bio, he was actually drafted as a shortstop, now an outfielder. But he grew up right-handed, and his dad was the one that made him switch hit. Two on the way. Hit hard, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding That's his pitches ball. all night long. Solaire in the box with one away as he takes ball one. With the go-ahead run at first, here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. The two strikes two may strikes. see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The pitch. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Here comes the throw. In there. He's safe. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That ball was drilled. 106 off the bat and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. A chance now to take the lead and at this point in the game he a deciding run. And here's the first baseman Lamont Wade Jr. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Pitching change here, Michael Grove. in for a strike and it's 0-1 at the dish looking to look the ball in the air in this spot anything but the inning inning double play board the 0-1 and yeah, there's a ball I think ultimately you want to tie him up get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield 
pitch. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. And here it comes. In the air out towards right center. Drops into the glove. Runner tags for home. He'll score in the sack flying on the board first. It's one zip. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. One for two. Matt Chapman. And that one fouled off. Solaire, the runner at first with two gone. And that's off the inside edge. And the count even one and one. Righty delivers. Struck him out looking. Fastball to letters throws him for strike three. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We're through six full. It's the Giants one and the Dodgers nothing. And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. And now Freddie Freeman. Snell back to work. That one finds the zone. Going one. Center field. And that will fall. Here's the throw. Not going to get him. He's in there. Well, that's how you respond. The leadoff man comes up, gets in the scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. So now here's the DH, Shohei Otani. This guy with light tower power. That's in there. One one with a single base runner because of all the power they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. So the tying run at second. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Here comes a pitch. And ball one. Next offering is down low. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. And it's second. Hard hit, right side. Wait, steps on the bag. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Teoscar Hernandez. I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone here. Pitchers looking for a strikeout or a ground ball, hoping to keep that runner at third. Right down to shoot. That's strike one. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. pitch up the middle and that's a base hit in the score from third it's one more 
big RBI for him right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield. Took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And now the center fielder, James Outman. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. 0-1, On the ground, two ball. Estrada. They put the tag on him. What a double play that was. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even now at 1 1. Bottom of the seventh. Michael Conforto will climb in. The left fielder. Michael Conforto. As he turns on the rubber, you know, with that good live arm delivers. That one the other way. Fair ball! Around first, heading for two. Hernandez quickly throws it in. And the potential go-ahead run stops at second base. Waste no time there. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in the swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Yeah. Just missed. Just missed. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And a pitch. Good eye in that spot. Definitely was swinging this slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer on it. 3 1 is on the way. And ball four to a ball. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Tyro Estrada, the next giant to hit. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Ryan Yarbrough. Close, but ball. called a ball. And it's 1-0. With the go-ahead run standing at second here at the bottom of the seventh. On the ground, right side. Into the outfield, base hit. The go-ahead run moves up to third. He's held there with nobody out. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now it's the Giants catcher, Patrick Bailey. Golden opportunity right here. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Conforto on third, Yastrzemski on second, Estrada on at first with nobody out. 
Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Makes the grab. Both runners tagging from second and third. On the third, save as they jump ahead and one scores. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it. But a really good job of getting that run in from third. This one in the air. Muncy settles under it. And there are two outs. Now back, center fielder, Jung Hoon Lee. Jung Hoon Lee, the next giant to hit. One for three. Corners are occupied with two down. On the ground to first, Freeman. He steps on the bag, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Giants two, and the Dodgers one. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Tyler Rogers. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got yeah. here. Yeah. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. One away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Here comes Max Muncy, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. One down, base is empty. And fouled off. Right-handed reliever. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Foul ball there. Rogers, 33 years old, and he was a 10th round pick back in 2013. Two outs. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. Righty to the plate. Fly ball down the line. Yastrzemski makes the catch. And that is that. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Ryan Brazier. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, leading up, one run game. Nine. Now the number two the hitter, hitter, Jorge Soler. Jorge. And he deals. Soler. And first offering is fouled off. Now this is just par for the course these days. Huge fastballs coming out of the bullpen. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. No ball, two strikes. 
In the air, left field. Hernandez on the move. Lays out and makes the play. Just a great jump yeah, off the bat, and he was fully committed. Lays out, dives, makes a beautiful yeah. catch, and his pitcher is going to be pretty happy about that one. And now the first baseman, Lamont Wade Jr. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And a good eye there. Next pitch is downstairs. Kicks and fires. Base is empty one away. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Chapman gets a piece there. And he'll won. And that drops in for a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a pop-up. Betts settles underneath it. He's got it, and the inning is over. Giants are down 1-2-3. They lead it 2-1. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Camilo Doval. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and you see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Yeah. And a pitch. Betts stands in here, takes ball one low. And the pitch. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. He powers that one out of here. It's 2-2. Two -two. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments. And right there, made a statement big time. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Miguel Rojas at the play. And a pop right side, foul territory. And there's one down. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Known for his late inning heroics. Here comes the throw in safely with a double, his second of the day. 
Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and whipped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now to go ahead runs in scoring position. So big opportunity for them to jump ahead late. And now, Shohei Otani. And time called at the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here at a crucial spot. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. That one missing inside. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Here's a one-two. Line drive. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Now at the plate, Teoscar Hernandez. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Ground ball to the right side. Base hit into the outfield. The throw in. And he's out. He's down and that ends the inning. Trying to take the lead in the late going. Can't blame him, but the defense was having none of that. Close play at the dish. The tag applied just in time. And push on with the tie ball game. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Joe Kelly. Power slider guy, boo. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. Michael Conforto digs in now. The left fielder. Michael Conforto. The pitch. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. Righty deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. So digging in, Mike Yastrzemski. On the ground to first. Down the line, and it's foul. All tied up. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. At the belt and fires. Oh, that's good. Too long. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced at this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. And up next for the Giants, Tyro Estrada. Wouldn't chase that time. Next offering is in for a strike. 
And another ball. Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of inning number nine. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. The next okay. offering misses. Three balls, two strikes. Ripped on the ground a second. Gets it to first, and Estrada is out. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. Giants down in order. Score remains 2-2. Two -two. We're back in a new arm on the mound as we start extras. Dalton Jeffries. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Left hand batter waits. That one to first. Wade takes it himself, and they get the leadoff man in the 10th. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat, especially when you're playing extra innings. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting any ending double play. Rip, but it curls foul. Oh, one now. Line, and that's a base hit. Runner from third in to score. And they lead it in the tenth. Rowley gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. And now it's Max Muncy. Three strikeouts already. He's 0 for 3. Right side, dives and he can't hang on. The throw is still in time, and they do get the out. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. Chris Taylor, the next to hit. Ball one to Taylor. One run across in the frame so far. And here in extra innings. Swings through that one for strike one. One ball, one strike. And the right hander deals. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. And it stays fair. Throws to second. The tag and they cut him down, going for two. But one run does score in the play before the inning ends. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left on. Last chance to even things up, we head to the bottom of inning number 10. It's the four and the Giants two. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Evan Phillips. Save opportunity for him right here. And digging in for San Francisco, Patrick Bailey. And the pitch. 
A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. All in one. Swings through that one. This guy's got such oh, a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Tying run at the plate. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Blows the high heat past him, that's a strikeout. Boone gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become yeah. such a problem for hitters oh, in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on. And here is Nick Ahmed. Big swing and a miss. Oh, one's the count. The tying run at the plate. Ripped to short. Whips it across. And a couple of quick outs. A couple of pitches and a quick out. <laughs> So they're down to their final out. Next to hit, Jung Hoon Lee. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Swing and a miss, strike one. On one. The Giants down to their final strike. Righty delivers. And that one is lifted in the air on his way over. Ball game. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. And your final 4-2. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long. our final line score tonight first for the victorious Dodgers four runs on nine hits no errors they left six runners on base for the Giants two runs on five hits no errors they left six runners on base time of the ball game two hours and 52 minutes thank you for joining us here tonight and we remind you to please Drive home safely.